the story of the fall of the Ottoman Empire, a superpower for six centuries, and the establishment of Turkey, part 3. The although the empire later reached its maximum territorial extent, the reign of Suleiman the Great is considered in the West to be the golden age for the Ottomans, a period in which a large number of successful military campaigns were carried out. A globalizing empire. The name, Emperor of the East and the West, also makes it clear that the Ottoman Empire saw and understood itself as a single power, unmatched by any other. According to historian Oliver Bucket, in the eyes of the Ottoman Sultans, there was no other emperor than the Ottoman Sultan. According to him, the concept of universal empire comes from Byzantine heritage and Islam. According to him, he wanted to conquer all the areas where men and women lived. Dar ul Islam i.e. all the countries outside the boundaries of the Islamic empire were invited to be conquered. This is one reason that accounts for much of the Ottoman Empire's longevity. Its naval conquests of these territories knew no bounds, stretching back centuries. Empire begin to weaken when conquests become difficult or stop, says Professor Oliver. The beginning of the fall. The first event that weakened the superpower was its defeat at the Battle of Lepanto in 1571, in which it faced the Holy League, a military alliance of Catholic states united under the leadership of the Spanish monarchy. This union also included parts of present-day Italy. It was one of the bloodiest battles that humanity had seen since ancient times and it ended the expansion of the Ottoman army in the Mediterranean. There the empire's good days came to an end and a long decline spanning the following centuries began. The political and economic instability of Istanbul at the beginning of the 20th century was compounded by various misunderstandings, ending an empire whose impression had already been tarnished. The first of these was the First Balkan War, 1912-1913, in which the Ottoman Empire faced the Balkan League, Bulgaria, Greece, Montenegro, and Serbia, which, with the support of Russia, drove the Ottomans from their lands. Tried to break in. Militarily inferior, the Ottoman Empire lost the war and was stripped of all its territories in Europe. Now this empire was limited to Constantinople and its surrounding areas. Historians remember this defeat as a humiliating event for the Ottomans and another turning point in history. The final blow. Due to the development of other trade routes, growing trade rivalry with the Americas and Asia, and rising unemployment, the rest of the Ottoman territories were experiencing a poor economic situation. They also faced the expansionist ambitions of European powers like Britain and France. In addition, tensions between different religious and ethnic groups had increased. Armenians, Kurds, and Greeks, among others, were fed up with the growing atrocities at the hands of the Turks. Despite all these problems, Istanbul started a new war against a powerful coalition led by France, British Empire, America and Russia. The Allied victory in the Middle East during World War I, 1914-1918, was one of the catalysts for the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, whose days were already numbered. This event led to the creation of the French Mandate in Syria and the British Mandate in Iraq and Palestine, as planned, all under the supervision of the League of Nations, a predecessor of the United Nations. What the Ottomans did not know was that in the middle of the war in 1917, France and Britain had already secretly agreed to divide their territories with the sykes picot Treaty. The same year also saw the signing of the Balfour Declaration, a document in which the British government promised the Jewish population a home in the territory of Palestine, which was also part of the empire. This agreement is known by the name of Arthur Balfour, the then British Foreign Secretary. The nascent state of Turkey. The Sultanate officially ceased to exist on 1 November 1922, when the office of Sultan was abolished. A year later, the Republic of Turkey was founded. After leading the Democratic Revolution, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, considered the father of modern Turkey, became Turkey's first president. Mehmed VI, the last Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, was feared to be assassinated by the revolutionaries, forcing the British protectorate to evacuate him from Istanbul.
He went into exile and took up residence at Benito Mussolini's seaside resort in Italy. This is the place where the partition of the Ottoman Empire, which he ruled, was agreed upon. Sultan V died after staying there for four years. He was so impoverished by then that the Italian authorities confiscated his coffin until debts owed to local merchants were paid. The fledgling Turkey abandoned its imperial ambitions and adopted Kemalism, a code enforced by the new president, Kamal Ataturk. The concepts of populism, nationalism, secularism, statism and reformism were presented in this ideology. Many historians claim that the secularism of modern Turkey is a great legacy of the Ottoman Empire.